Hey Virgo, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here at this channel. We hope to lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And here, we are here together. We are gathered here today for your June 2019 general reading for Sun, Moon and Rising. Virgo, first of all, if you're new here, thank you so much for checking me out. Please consider liking and subscribing and sharing and when you subscribe to me and leave a comment this is for new subs or existing subscribers thank you so much for being here um you will get an entry into my monthly giveaway my monthly subscriber giveaway this month it is a may at the time of this recording it is a 100 dollar amazon gift card if you're seeing this in june i'm sure i have something else updated so uh let's get into this because virgo we we got uh houston we got a little problem here okay now again sun moon are rising so if it doesn't fit your sun look at your rising or your moon okay overall energy on the bottom of the deck and i'm using the star child tarot and the mystic tarot we have the sun card so overall energy is good bright sunny days new you know like a generally good outlook on life okay and generally good things coming we also have the queen of cups this tells me so this is cancerian energy or it could also be scorpio or pisces but this is you know a very loving caring nurturing energy which i think you're going to need and then we also have the three of wands your ship coming in and again more hopefulness Okay, but we also have the moon card, which tells me there's some secrets afoot and that if this is energy that I feel like is just kind of flowing in still from May. Um, and you're a bit on the defensive with the seven of wands as well. And a bit burdened with the ten of wands, but I'm feeling like you ain't trying to let these burdens go. And that will get proved out a little bit further in our reading here. So... Coming into the month, we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, a lot of worry, discontent, concern. Um, even though, generally, you know that the outlook of everything in your life is good, there is this nagging uh un and unnecessary i keep hearing the word unnecessary so i'm just gonna say it unnecessary concern um with the nine of cups no, this is two nines so this is fulfillment um let me tell you something i think you've been worried about some things that have that are very personal to yourself perhaps your love life, you've been very worried that the emotions, uh, for some of you, that the emotions and the energy that you've been putting towards a, a person, place, or thing, whether or not it's good. You're feeling a little selfish. Uh, you're wondering, was this the right thing to do? Yeah, and it, you started something new recently or restarted something. And it felt good. So this is the thing. You feel good about this thing or this person, this situation. Could be a business, could be, you know, job, could be an individual. You feel good about your life in general. And you've had some really good things with the Ace of Cups start for you recently. I feel like you're waiting for the other freaking shoe to drop, Virgo. Um, you're confused. We've got some confusion coming into play with the Seven of Cups as well. Because you're like, listen, everything in front of me is good, so why am I worried? You know, be very careful that you're not um, going to have a self-fulfilling problem. And here's the Queen of Cups again. Uh, you know, the Queen of Cups also represents someone who is quite sure of herself, quite giving, that divine feminine nature that uh, while it's not a birthing nature of a um, energy of a queen of pentacles or an empress 
It is the emotion and the um, joy and the peace that you need to have in order to birth. And it is the quiet calm and the ever, the essence of just knowing, the essence of being confident in who one is and loving enough to not shove it down everybody's throat. Four of Pentacles. However, you really wanted to be closed off with it. Because of this worry, you're confused. You're like, I did not expect. It's almost as if you just didn't expect these good things to happen. Wow. And I can see why. You didn't expect them to happen. And even though you know that you know deep down inside you deserve it, you still didn't expect it to happen. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And you're confused. You didn't think they were going to happen the way that they have. You didn't think that this person was going to come along. You didn't. You weren't expecting to find love in, in this individual. You weren't expecting to get the job that you did. You weren't expecting, you weren't expecting, you weren't expecting, you weren't expecting. And yet here we are. And yet the sun has come out. And yet all good things are coming towards you in a very loving manner because you you love yourself. And yet you know that the ship has come in. And yet you're trying to figure out when is the other shoe going to drop because you feel like there's secrets and somebody ain't telling you everything so you're on the defense with the seven of wands all right let's continue on what could be an issue for you is the emperor being stubborn being so sure that this is too good to be true that you are just stubbornly holding on to that belief Um, and stubbornly with the eight of wands, either stubbornly moving away from this good thing or stubbornly, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Stubbornly either moving away from this good thing or just being stubborn and not willing to move at all. And this king of wands, uh, concerns me a little bit. We have a lot of fire here. Uh, uh, watch your emotions. Uh, watch the outbursts. Don't just cut somebody off. Don't just be like, you know, basically screw you. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Um, don't burn the whole forest down because of some misdirected underlying past feeling of not deserving and, and, and I think this queen of cups keeps popping up for you because there's some self healing that still, I, there's sometimes when we have something so good happen to us, Virgo, and we just don't feel like we deserve it. What really is, what we're really saying to ourselves is we don't love ourselves enough or we haven't forgiven ourselves for something. And so there's still some unhealed injury that is there. Um, some perhaps some um, blockages in our chakra system. Chakra system. There's some, some unresolved issues that have to be resolved. And, yeah. Be very careful. Okay? Um, don't just push this away so hard and so fast that you miss your Ace of Cups coming towards you. That you miss this overflow. That you miss this that you missed the opportunity to be so self-partnered with that Nine of Cups energy 
that you're really able to truly fully move into your life purpose. Uh, what's going to help you, believe it or not, is the Three of Swords. And I'm going to say that I'm taking that Three of Swords being there as what's going to help you is getting over disappointment of the past. Yeah. Renewed love for self and for others. Delivery with the Page of Cups, someone delivering messages of love. You have a lot of emotion here. And I know, Virgo, that might not be the most comfortable for you. Um, but it's really time to grow into loving yourself so completely and so fully that you are so willing to accept, um, uh, not only accept, but vibrate on a frequency of beautiful manifestation of the stability and um, the entrepreneurial, the healthy life that you wish. Um, so this is really new, new discovering new emotions discovering new ways of healing and the justice card so there could be a libra involved um but what i am going to say is that uh you're finally being just to yourself and not only to yourself but to others perhaps you've been a tad bit hard on a few people and judged someone a little too harshly and perhaps you're seeing that which is why all of this consternation how do i actually deserve this when i've been so bad to somebody else well, you know what? Go back and, and apologize. Or go back and rethink how you're looking at and seeing this. And here's the Seven of Cups. So some of you are very confused by what I'm saying. But the clarity comes when you go on and you just start dealing with, with the outcome or advice here. We have Akashic Records. Tap into your own Akashic record. Tap into your own personal DNA. Tap into all of that information that, you know, has been there. Yep. And manifest the life that which that you actually need or that you actually desire. Um, utilize that, your Akashic record, pardon me, to manifest your best life. And use your Akashic records to go back and say, you know what, in this instance, in this instance, in this instance, I was a little harsh. I was harsh on myself. I was harsh on others. I judged too quickly. I, I, I you know, canceled them out a little bit too fast. Um, I wasn't as understanding as I should have been. All those things, until we forgive ourselves and we release that energy, and uh, we release it out into the ethers so it can be recycled um, and then fill, refill ourselves with love, with light, with wisdom, and with just the knowing and the peace, right, of living a life of unconditional love towards ourselves and others. That's, if, if we don't begin to do that, then we're always worried someone's going to take something from us. Or some, or it's, or it's going to be an Indian giver. It's too good to be true, or all those things, because it is because we haven't cleared out our karma. So utilize your um, akashic records to help clear your karma. Yes, definitely use your akashic records. Now, if you, you know, there's some of us that can help you read that and uh, can help you go there if you haven't gone there. Leave a comment below if um, you're interested in that and and you have some concern about that um you've got chapters closing here with the world term walk away from go away from all of the turmoil to calmer waters but take the lessons that you need with you sword and then allow please do allow with the knight of cups energy please do allow um deliver love messages to yourself and allow beloved to deliver love messages to you as well okay all right virgo i'm gonna pull an isis um, oracle card for you and we'll read what that oracle card has to say let's put these all away shall we and let's get an isis oracle card all right guys um, also, if you wish to work with me, the link is down below um, in the description box, part of inspiration.net. You can schedule energy work with me. 
think I need one more. Okay, thank you. Um, you can schedule energy work with me, uh, Reiki treatment, Reiki healing sessions, or uh, personal readings. Okay, so this is what we have for you from the Isis Oracle. First of all, we have Queen of Heaven, blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies, Queen of Heaven, blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies. And then we have Magic and Ritual, Crafting Sacred Practice. So let's see what we have here. Let's go to the Queen of Heaven first, please. And these are the Isis Oracle cards again. Queen of Heaven, blessing from the Divine Empress of the Skies. The Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now. That Queen of Cups kept popping up, right? As a man or a woman, you have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom to the world. The Oracle of the Queen of Heaven is a confirmation of your feminine leadership and spiritual authority, whether in male or female body this lifetime. Isis means throne and her presence and blessing as the divine empress of the skies. She offers the initiates of light, men and women, great feminine spiritual power. Feminine spiritual authority occurs when power is tempered with mercy, wisdom, compassion, and love. It is inspired spiritual leadership through the heart and a model of power and authority that is based in empowerment rather than force or control. Isis, Queen of Heaven, calls you to ascend to the throne of feminine leadership within your own being that you may fulfill your life mission and serve the Divine Feminine on this planet from a place of inner spiritual authority. I think we just said that. All right. And then we have magic and ritual. Creating, excuse me, crafting sacred practice. Effect <coughs> in the external world can be created through inner practice. Magic and ritual can support your divine path now in the physical world, and you are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice. The results that you experience will encourage you to continue with the practice as you grow in power, grace, love, ability, and wisdom, and apply your inner beauty to transform your outer world. For us to grow empowered and potent, on the path of ancient feminine power, we need to honor our knowing and being and cultivate sacred practice. Sacred practice becomes the habit of growing our spiritual power and consciousness, like a garden needing regular care and watering to blossom and flourish, our inner garden of the soul, where our creativity, joy, spiritual gifts, and bliss bubble away, also needs regular attention. Coming to our practice takes strength and inner will. Even though it can feel amazing, we still have to wake up, set aside time, and discipline ourselves to show up for our inner growth. We will reap benefits when we do, but we must allow ourselves to fall in love with our practice, to craft something that really speaks to us so that we want to do it. The desire and discipline together help us engage with our practice regularly and we can grow so fast it can be quite shocking. So you do have good, great power and wisdom within you, but you need to provide channels for it to flow and be active and empowered in your physical life. Sacred practice is such a channel. Without these channels, the ego is left to create its own, which is not much fun at all. The ego believes in fear and separation, and no matter how much it may want to feel love, bliss, connection, joy, and fulfillment, it cannot do so without your spiritual practice in life. Ritual and magic as a form of sacred practice are recommended for you as a way to bring more spiritual presence into your waking life to heal and support the ego as you learn to create a life that feels better and brings you and others more fulfillment. 
course now what I will say about magic and ritual is this magic is really the use it at the basis of it all magic is manifestation it's the use of your 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 spiritual power your spiritual mind to affect the natural world meditation is the easiest of all the sacred practices so go on and practice meditation on a regular basis I do a seven day meditation um, challenge on this channel um, you could just type in seven day meditation and it will pop up it will start to get you in the practice of meditating you can do it redo it over and over and over again every week it's just about 15 minutes a day not very long but practice this because the more you then give voice to your spirit by calming your mind down and shutting that down or quieting it enough so that your spirit can actually speak the more that you do that the more the spiritual essence flows that's all that is if you have any questions please again do leave me a comment or you can email me at admin at heartofinspiration.net guys thank you so much for hanging with me i know this is a little bit longer than i anticipated at the end of this video you're going to see a link to shonda rise her channel she is my queen of astrology. She is a wonderful astrological teacher. Um, and also Will Brown's Cartomancy. He is an amazing reader. Uses a number of different um, uh, systems. And he's just amazing. So do, go visit his channel as well. And uh, yeah, there's a link to my website also on an end screen. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Bye-bye.